Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since my last video um, and recently I've been preparing for the CFA Level 3 exam. I've registered for the September 2023 sitting. So I'm going to record a series of videos um, basically of organizing my revision notes, um, equations, concepts, categories of knowledge, um, and it will help me organize and memorize uh, what I need for the exam. And it might be useful for you too. So hopefully this is going to be a fun experience. The first section I want to cover is on the fixed income. One of the questions I came across was about uh, calculations in relation to um, hedging the duration gap between uh, your assets and liabilities. There are two ways of um, hedging this duration gap. One is using futures and one is using swaps. For futures, you're likely asked to calculate how many futures contracts you need to buy in order to um, hedge the duration gap. So it might be a, a full hedge, then you need to use the exact duration gap number. But sometimes it might be only hedging half the duration gap uh, or 75 percent or whatever percentage you're giving in the exam scenario. Um, then you just use um, the percentage multiplied by the full duration gap in your calculation. For futures, the calculation equation is in the numerator, you need to use the uh, basis point of value, BPV. It equals um, modified duration multiplied by the market value of your portfolio and multiplied by one basis point, which is 1% of a percent point. So not point, not, not, not one. And um, the most importantly, uh, what we are going to calculate is the number of futures contracts uh, needed for the hedge. So uh, the number of contract equals your target BPV minus the existing, so the current uh, BPV of your portfolio, divided by the BPV of the futures contract. Um, and one thing to note here is that sometimes the um, exam problem might give you the actual uh, BPV of the futures contract, or sometimes it might give you the BPV of the um, CTD bond, which is cheapest to deliver bond. Um, then in that case, you need to calculate the BPV of the futures contract um, by um, dividing the BPV of the cheapest to deliver bond by the conversion factor. So the equation for calculating the number of futures contract will become um, the target BPV minus the existing BPV of your portfolio divided by the BPV of the cheapest to deliver bond and then multiply by the conversion factor. Next, we'll look at swaps. Um, so how to calculate how much um, is the notional principle we need for the swaps if we are using swaps to hedge the duration gap. And this equation also involves the BPV of your portfolio, of your target, as well as the BPV of um, the both sides of the swaps. Because if you are using an interest rate swap to um, hedge the duration gap, you will be both paying a particular interest rate as well as receiving another interest rate. On the receiving end, there will be one BPV and on the paying end, there is another BPV. You need to then um, detract the paying end of the BPV from your receiving end of the BPV and that becomes the denominator of your calculation. And for the numerator, uh, it's the same as the uh, last equation for the futures contract. So uh, you use the target BPV minus the existing portfolio's BPV. And one thing to note is that when I say target BPV, it means um, the remaining basis point of value 
after the hedging. So basically the portfolio BPV that you are aiming for after the hedging. That's it for today. Um, I hope you find it useful and I hope when I watch it back it will be uh, helpful to me too before the exam. So until next time, bye for now.